the strongest arm in the biz comes to the right place on Friday nights. I'm Chris Charlton and this is Finish Strong for the week of June the 4th, 2021. This week on NJPW Strong, the Ignition Tour kicked off, which will see big time matches all the way through the month of June. But the action tonight started with relative LA Dojo newcomer Kevin Knight taking on original LA Dojo graduate TJP. TJP scored Knight from the opening bell, but Knight was able to avoid a TJP dropkick and was persistent with a head scissors on the fill and flash. Ultimately though, that persistency came with a price a pair of boots to the face. When Kevin Knight missed his own dropkick, TJP was in full control until Young Lion exploded out of the corner and finally leapt to land an impressive dropkick and a slam. The TJP responded by washing the face of Knight and landing a suplex. Though Kevin Knight avoided the Mamba splash and hit a corner splash of his own, TJP was ultimately able to bury the knees into the midsection of the LA Dojo trainee and lock in a Cobra Twist for the win. Second match this evening saw Barrett Brown face Adrian Quest in a grudge match that had been building for a while. It was all about how Barrett Brown's ego was getting in the way of his tag team with Adrian Quest. And it certainly appeared like Barrett Brown had made new friends, entering with Bateman who was keeping a watching brief at ringside and lending some advice to Barrett Brown in the early goings. That advice didn't really seem to pay off as Adrian Quest consistently frustrated and showed up by Brown in the early goings. But 50 Caliber finally found some offense by spilling Adrian Quest to the floor and landing a lariat back inside for a two count. As Brown kept control of the match, Quest managed to find a brief break with a Hurricanrana for two that again was sent to the floor where a vicious snap suplex connected but young Fuego was able to will himself back inside and then connect with a spectacular springboard Frankensteiner to score big time damage. As the pace quickened, Quest connected with a shooting star off the apron to the floor, but back inside the ring, Brown was able to hit a shotgun knee for near falls of his own. Quest came close with some innovative offense, and even though Brown was able to suplex his opponent into the corner, he still couldn't finish his former partner off. Adrian Quest connected with a massive lariat and a tiger driver, but just as he went upstairs for the finishing blow, Bateman hopped on the apron for a distraction, which led up to a roll-up pin. Surely it was a win that Barrett Brown can't be 100% pleased with, while Adrian Quest was 100% frustrated backstage, at least that was before he found an ally of his own. Well, what'd you have to do to get that one? Cheat? Have someone come ringside to help you? You ain't This ain't over. Oh, hell no! Hell no, Adrian! I saw what happened out there. Them sons of bitches stole a win on you. And if there's one thing I can't stand is a bully. Listen to this, young Fuego, right? Anytime, any place, anywhere. You need backup? Missing no days off, the suntan Superman ain't hard to find. You a grown ass man. You can handle your own. But if you need backup, I got you back, baby. Give me some love, block the hate. Oh yeah. It was an all-star tag team main event though, as Ms. Carl Fredericks, who stepped up to become the number one contender for the Strong Openweight Championship last week, tagged with Satoshi Kojima against Team Filthy's JR Kratos and Danny Limelight. It was Kojima starting off with Kratos, who refused to respect the legend and refused to yield to him too. The most feared got the most out of early collisions, and then when Carl Fredericks tried to outpace the big man, Kratos used his own speed to counter the Alpha Wolf. Carl Fredericks was isolated by Team Filthy, with Kratos and Danny Limelight working him over effectively, but a suplex from Fredericks got enough space to tag in Kojima. Signature machine gun chops were the result in the corner to JR Kratos, and then that famous elbow drop scored on the big man. But a power slam and a big time delayed vertical suplex got two for JR Kratos. Wanting to finish a legendary opponent with his own move, JR Kratos went for a lariat, but in the end got dropped with that Koji Koji Kata, and then it was Limelight tasting a famous lariat, as although the right missed, the left sent him always out of his boots. Carl Fredericks came in and hit a spine buster on Limelight, and although the ND was denied, the half crab meant the radioactive Pappy had no choice but to tap out. 
Well, Carl Fredericks will now move on to challenge Tom Lawler for that strong Openweight Championship. One issue is certainly not done from this tag match. JR Kratos and Satoshi Kojima had to be pulled apart and it seems a one-on-one -on -one meeting is inevitable down the road. Coming up shortly over in Japan, it is Dominion on Monday, June the 7th with live English commentary. New Japan Pro Wrestling starts off the summer in style with major matchups in Osaka Joe Hall. Jeff Cobb faces Kota Ibushi. Yo and El Desperado collide for the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship. And we will determine a new IWGP World Heavyweight Champion when Shingo Takagi faces Kazuchika Okada. All of that action will be live and in English on the King of Sports Streaming Services, njpwworld.com. That's it, we've finished strong for another week. Until next time, go kigenyo, sayonara.